Good morning, my friends in Christ. I hope you are doing well today. Check out the red four o'clock. It's early enough to enjoy it. Isn't that beautiful? I think it's just lovely. And it looks like we're going to have a black eye Susan and some uh, Chinese forget-me-nots over there. Four o'clock and forget-me-nots. How about that? And oh, look, the marigold is coming along. And my millet yesterday, it has seeds on it. Can you see them? I don't know if they're ready or not yet, but isn't that cool? And I'm just letting the morning glories go. It's kind of an experiment to see if they will help in the wind. Sometimes we get some straight line wind. So if those four o'clocks are open, let's check out the other ones. This looks like another beautiful red one. And not much more growing there. And I think that that one is quite an amazing color. Fuchsia. And then there is a yellow one. It's so nice to see them open. I didn't realize they would be open early in the morning. Oh, and look. About missed it. How could I miss this pretty little pink one? Isn't that beautiful? God has blessed me with these four o'clocks in this uh, random seed, well not random, a seed mix, a beautiful uh, spring to fall seed mix. So as we go along we probably see some other things and they are trying to make it despite being planted way. I didn't disperse the seed good enough as you can tell. I'm just learning. How about that? So we'll go over here and see. I don't think any pollinators are up yet. But we'll go see. And the verses of the day, I hesitated because of the fires in Maui. But God put something on my heart. I want to, um, I'm excited to uh, share. I love that little silvery butterfly bush. Mother Nature gave that to me. No, excuse me. My, my actual mom gave that to me. My goodness, what am I thinking? But um, the little black eye Susan is still hanging in there. And as we walk along here, this is from Isaiah, Isaiah 43, 1. And pardon me for walking along and reading this. Fear not, for I have redeemed you and called you mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned. So with the fires in Maui, I'm thinking, how could I? That's almost disrespectful. But God gave me this. It's the fires of our humanness that he keeps from our soul. The fires of anger, bitterness, uh, greed, those things that wreck a person's life. He will be with us. He will keep us from the fires. Now, literally, if you want to put it out there, man has got something to do with all of these things. Of course, nature does. But I think we just need to leave that for our own soul searching. But for today, we will pass through waters. We will be tested. And we've talked about how testing makes us stronger and she proves to God our faith that we love him we honor him we would not want to dishonor him with doing yielding to temptation that was yesterday's message and that we love him and because we have proven our love to him we are approved we are approved for his that we have shown we love him above all and when we are approved that's all we need in life. The Holy Spirit is with us. He will guide us and direct us and protect us. And that is love. So God will protect us from the fires and help us through the waters. He is a living water. So God bless you guys. Seek your blessings. Enjoy them. Thank God for them. Till tomorrow, my friends. Love you in Christ. Amen.